arms. Ancelostoma duodenal, also known as Old World Hookworm, and Nicator americanus, also known as New World Hookworm, are the common two hookworms pathogenic to man. Females are longer than males. Females have tapering ends, and males have coiled or spicules and posterior ends. Hookworms have the human small intestine as their habitat, and humans are their host. Transmission is through skin penetration by third-stage filariform larvae, which have a needle-like appearance and are the infective form of hookworms. The Life Cycle of Intestinal Hookworm Eggs are passed in the stool and, under favorable conditions, moisture, warmth, shade, larvae hatch in one to two days and become free-living in contaminated soil. These released rhabditiform larvae grow in the feces and or the soil, and after five to ten days and two molts, they become filariform, third stage, larvae that are infective. These infective larvae can survive three to four weeks in favorable environmental conditions. On contact with the human host, typically bare feet, the larvae penetrate the skin and are carried through the blood vessels to the heart and then to the lungs. They penetrate into the pulmonary alveoli, ascend the bronchial tree to the pharynx, and are swallowed. The larvae reach the jejunum of the small intestine, where they reside and mature into adults. Adult worms live in the lumen of the small intestine, typically the distal jejunum, where they attach to the intestinal wall with results in blood loss by the host. Most adult worms are eliminated in one to two years, but the longevity may reach several years. Hookworms also show a pulmonary migratory phase. Their first and second molting occurs in soil after the second molting its infective form, that is filariform larvae, is formed. It's important to note that their third molting occurs in the esophagus and the fourth molting in the duodenum, where the adult form is achieved. Clinical features of hookworm infection are gastrointestinal symptoms like abdominal pain, which has a sharp postprandial accentuation, dyspepsia, and diarrhea. Iron deficiency anemia syndrome. This worm sucks 0.2 milliliters of blood per day. Microcytic hypochromic anemia. Diagnosis is by stool microscopy for detection of characteristic non bile stained oval segmented eggs with four blastomeres. Chandelier's index is used in designating hookworm infection as a social problem. The presence of more than 300 eggs per gram of stool is termed as a social problem. Treatment is done with albendazole, which is the drug of choice. Mabendazole or pyrantel palmoate are the alternative drugs used. Note. Ancelostoma brasilensis and Ancelostoma caninum are animal worms incapable of penetrating all layers of human skin. Therefore, when they enter humans, they get trapped in between skin layers and give rise to cutaneous larvae migrants in which worms are visible under skin. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.